welcome all in this lecture we are going to solve example number 3 so what this says is with the help of routh hurwitz criteria comment upon the stability of the system having following characteristic equation so the characteristic equation is given and we need to check that the system is stable or not the characteristic equation is given as s to the power 6 plus s to the power 5 plus 8s to the power 4 Plus six s cube plus twenty s square plus eight s plus ten equals to zero. So first of all, in this question, we will perform the uh, formation of a Routh array. After that, we will check the stability. So this is the solution. Here, the even coefficient of s r s to the power six, s to the power four, s to the power two, and s to the power zero. So the even coefficients are. Here the coefficient of s to the power six is one. Coefficient of s to the power four is eight. Coefficient of s to the power two is twenty, and coefficient of s to the power zero is ten. The odd coefficient r s to the power five coefficient is one. S to the power three coefficient is six. S to the power One coefficient is eight, and here remaining is zero. So these all are the coefficients. Let's perform the formation of Routh array. So we will write all the s to the powers on the left hand side. So s to the power six, then s to the power five, then s to the power four, then s to the power three. S to the power two. S to the power one. S to the power zero. Let's write down the values. Here, S to the power six is the highest, and six is the even number. So we will write the even coefficients first. So one, then eight, then twenty, then ten. S to the power five. Five is odd number, so we will write the odd coefficients. One, then six, then eight, then zero. So we will multiply to find the further entries. First of all, one will be multiplied with eight, and six will be multiplied with one. So one multiplied with eight minus six multiplied with one. The whole result will be divided by this one, so we will get two as a result. Further, this one will be multiplied with this twenty. One will be multiplied with this twenty. After that, this eight will be multiplied with this one. The whole result will be divided by this one. so we will get 12 as a output after moving on this one will be multiplied with this 10 one will be multiplied with this 10 and zero will be multiplied with one we will get zero only the whole result will be divided by one so we get 10 as a result so put the values 2 12 then 10 here remaining no column for the multiplication so we will write simply zero here after that let's take these two elements 1 and 2 so 1 so 2 will be multiplied with this 6 into 6 into 6 minus 12 will be multiplied with this one Whole result will be divided by two, so we will get zero here. Moving on, this two will be multiplied with eight minus this ten will be multiplied with one. The whole result will be divided by this two, so we will get three. 
as a result. Moving on, this 2 will be multiplied with 0. So we will get 0 only minus this 0 will be multiplied with 1. So we will get again 0. As a result, we get 0. Putting on the values, the 0, then 3, then 0, remaining 0. Can you notice that our first element of this row becomes 0? So, in the earlier lectures, we have discussed that if the first element of any row that is known as the first row of a route array becomes 0, then it comes under which category? It comes under the category of type 2 questions. So it is type 2 variety of question. So we, to solve this type of question, we have to follow certain steps that we discussed in the earlier lectures. We have discussed that uh, in type 2 questions the first element becomes 0 so we have to follow these three steps to solve this question so what the first step says is we have to replace s in the characteristic equation with 1 by z after that we have to rewrite the characteristic equation and then again form the route array so replacing s in characteristic equation we get s to the power 6 plus s to the power 5 plus 8s to the power 4 plus 6s cube plus 20 s square plus 8 s plus 10 equals to 0 replacing by 1 by z 1 by z to the power 6 plus 1 by z to the power 5 plus 8 1 by z to the power 4 plus 6 1 by z to the power 3 plus 20 1 by z to the power 2 plus 8 1 by z plus 10 equals 0 after taking the LCM we will get the new equation that is formed as 10 z to the z to the power 6 plus 8 z cube z to the power 5 plus 20 z to the power 4 plus 6 z cube plus 8 z square plus z plus 1 this will be our equation our new characteristic equation again we have to form a route array and check that the system is stable or not so this is our new characteristic equation we firstly have to form a new route array so this is the even power of s this is even power of s z and this is even power of z and this is also even power of z so the even coefficients are 10 then 20 then 8 then 1 and odd coefficients are 8 then 6 then 1 and then 0 then we perform uh, formation of route array so z to the power 6 is the highest power so we will write z to the power 6 then z to the power 5 then z to the power 4 then z to the power 3 then z to the power 2 then z to the power 1 
then z to the power 0 since the z to the power 6 is a even power of z so we will write the even coefficient first 10 20 8 1 z to the power 5 5 is a odd power so we will write odd coefficients 8 6 1 0 later on we will do the multiplication to find the further elements so this 8 will be multiplied with 20 8 into 20 minus 6 will be multiplied with 10 the whole result will be divided by this 8 only so we will get the result as 12.5 after that this 8 will be multiplied with this 8 8 into 8 minus this one will be multiplied with 10 whole result will be divided by 8 so we will get 6.75 after that 1 will be multiplied with 1 8 will be multiplied with 1 minus 0 multiplied with 10 we will get 0 whole result will be divided by 8 so we will get 1 only placing the values 12.5 6.75 1 and further 0 so in this way we will write down the all the entries by performing this type of multiplication so here I performed the multiplication and filled all the entries after that we need to check the stability that our system given to us is stable or not to check the stability we have to check the number of sign changes are present or not so 10 is positive 8 is positive no sign change 8 is positive 12.5 is positive no sign change 12.5 is positive 1.6 is positive no sign change these also positive numbers but 4.07 is positive and minus 0 0.05 is negative so here one sign change after that minus 0 0.05 is negative number and one is positive number so here one sign change so total number of sign changes equals to 2 this means that two roots of the characteristic equation lies in the right hand side of S plane two roots of characteristic equation lies in right hand side of S plane so this is the S plane and here only anywhere two roots lies in the right hand side of the s plane since the two roots lies in the right hand side of s plane so we can easily say that our system is unstable so our system is unstable thank you if you like my videos Please press the like button and subscribe to my channel.